Ochi have released a magnetic mirror cube. It's available in blue, green, and this weird color, which I might make a separate video about. I mean, it's not really a weird color, it's just weird. Um, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be unboxing the blue one and then comparing it to the GAN mirror. Because obviously, if they're going to release a magnetic mirror cube, it's got to compare with the GAN mirror. So, first impressions of the new Chi mirror cube. Okay, so you can feel the magnets. Obviously, doing finger tricks on mirror cube is a bit different because how much you can actually do depends on which layer you're turning. Some of the finger tricks are different depending on that, but the turning is pretty good. So obviously compare it to the GAN. So the Chi mirror is available in blue, green and multicolor. The GAN mirror is primarily available in purple, um, but they've also done limited edition red and white ones over the years. I think I still have the red ones in stock right now for some reason. So I'm going to be using this red one because it's my best sample with the least issues at the moment to compare to the Chi mirror. So we can see here that the size of both of them is about 56 millimeters, which is the old standard for 3x3. We can also see that they both have the exact same height differential because it's always been a sort of controversy in the background of if MiraCube were to ever be a WCA event, could companies reduce the height differential and make it more closer to a 3x3? But so far, nobody's done anything like that. Obviously, it's probably not going to be a WCA event, so it probably doesn't matter. So one fact to consider, of course, is the price. The Chi mirror comes in at just £8.95, which makes it significantly cheaper than the GAN mirror, which is currently £22.95. There was previously a cheaper GAN mirror which had stickers. This is the UV coated version, but at the moment the UV coated version is the only one that's available. The Chi mirror, of course, has these stickers, or sort of stickers. So I think based on price, we can give the Chi mirror five stars and the GAN mirror three. So it's going to have to prove it's better to justify the £14 price difference. Can it do that? Well, obviously there's no clear-cut answer to that, but I'm going to try and get close to a clear-cut answer to that. So the Chi mirror actually has slightly better corner cutting than the GAN mirror, obviously depending on where it, where it is, because there are different layers, they're all going to have different corner cutting, but from my testing out, it does appear that the Chi mirror has slightly better corner cutting. Obviously it's never going to be quite as good as a normal 3x3, just because it can't really be, can it? But I guess, based on the corner cutting, it does appear the Chi mirror is slightly better, so I'm going to give the Chi mirror mm, four stars, and the GAN mirror three, I think. I mean, it's definitely all five stars, there's definitely room for improvement, which will probably never happen because nobody cares about making mirror cubes very good, but there we have it corner cutting is better on the Chi mirror. So for the next question we have to consider the turning speed. So the GAN mirror does just seem to turn a bit faster in general. So I think we have to give this round to the GAN mirror. It is just a bit faster, a bit easier to make turns. It, it might be to do with the tensions, but I think even if I loosen the tensions on the Chi mirror, it would still just be slightly slower than the GAN mirror. So for turning speed, I think I'm going to have to give the GAN mirror um, four stars and the Chi mirror three stars. But of course, for the next factor of stability, the Chi mirror is just more stable. Obviously, it has better corner cutting and it is just in general slightly more stable, slightly less likely to lock up. I mean, I think pops are very, very unlikely on either of them, even if you're really good at mirror cube, which I'm not. 
but Chi mirror especially, there is no way this is going to pop. So I think for stability, I'm going to give the Chi mirror um, four and a half stars and the Gan mirror four stars. For pop resistance, they both get five. That's kind of inevitable. And I guess that moves on to the final test. Me actually solving them both. So, yeah, let's give it a go. Obviously, I'm going to do one solve on each of them. That isn't really going to say much, but it's going to say something, isn't it? So, unfortunately, my editing kind of messed up here, but I've still got two solves, one with the Chi mirror cube on the left and one with the Gan mirror on the right. Um, the, you can't really see much of the mirror cubes, but obviously on both of them I'm struggling with cross plus F2L, struggling to recognize the F2L and solve two pairs at a time like I would seamlessly without any issues on 3x3 three three because I'm used to it. So yeah, whichever wins gets an extra two points, I guess. Five stars for the win and three stars for second place, maybe. Maybe there should be something like if the solve is under 130, then it's five points. And if it's over 130, then it's three points. And if it's over two minutes, then one point or something. Definitely haven't made those up because I know what the result is already while recording this. But um, yeah, I think both Daniels are on last layer now. Um, I think Daniel with the GAN is closer trying to recognize that OLL and go into PLL. Um, Daniel with the Chi mirror is still on OLL, but Daniel with the GAN mirror is doing a PLL, but it's the wrong PLL and he's got another PLL algorithm, which he's just going to do right now. And it looks like Daniel with the GAN mirror has one with a time of 1 minute 29, which is just under 130, so that is... Five points for the Gan mirror, bringing up it up to 19 points. But Daniel with a Chi mirror finishes in one minute and 40 seconds exactly for three points, which puts 19.5 points for the Chi mirror and just 19 points for the Gan mirror. So it does appear that the Chi mirror wins this by a very small margin and is probably a slightly better choice for most people. However, if you prefer something like the UV coated nature of the GAN mirror and just want something that feels a bit more premium and it looks a bit nicer, then the GAN mirror might be for you. But if you're looking for a purely speed cube performance point of view, um, compared to the price of course, then the Chi mirror is probably going to be your best option. Also, of course, which colour do you like? That's another factor to consider that I haven't even mentioned in this video at all. But anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. And yeah, go and watch another speedcubing.org video. And tell me what you think of this new video format.